Hello everybody, after an absolute barn burner of a first leg against Nordsjælland, we've got it all to do in the second leg at home. Can we get the job done and see us go through to the Champions League league phase for a second year in a row? Yeah, hi everyone. In the, uh, in the first leg, we're going to go straight into the highlights um, at the Right to Dream Park uh, away from home. We went behind super, super early um, before... A absolutely calamitous own goal from Valson, and this really summed up his game. He had an absolute stinker. Um, we actually ended up hauling him off at, at half time. Um, we were 3 0 down at uh, 30 minutes, um, and then 4 0 down pretty much straight away, straight after that. Um, and I was thinking, well, looks like we're going straight to the Europa League and not going to be bringing it back for, for the second leg. But a lovely worked corner, which literally, these, this is the corner setup that we were talking about um in the last episode um worked exactly as we wanted it to for Wilfred Crepe to uh to head in and then um what well, I can't remember which, which call this was oh yeah this was Valder Mars and made it 4-2 and I'm thinking oh, okay you know a little bit more respectable we bring on um Sylvester Nigel I'm still not sure Ni Nigel N N N N Nigel I don't know but anyway he um he scored to make it 4-3 and uh and then Lo and behold, he goes and makes it four all with a lovely finish. And at this point, I'm thinking, blimey, can we go on and win this? Um, and then about seven minutes later, um, Ant-Man goes and scores an absolute screamer past uh, Kamlashev, who, who came on at halftime for Valsin. I'm thinking, oh, well, 5-4, you know, okay, you know, loss of points, coefficient points, but it's doable. Before Trifonov in the 92nd minute <laughs> made it five all, which meant that we get, did get... Uh, some coefficient points as well for that and what an absolute epic it was um, we we really did deserve to, to win the game as well to be honest with you um, we definitely created more chances um, but it was just some shocking goalkeeping at the start that really let us down and then we, we then followed that up with a comfortable 3-0 win in the league two for Suarez and one for Valder Marsen and uh, in terms of, of the league we are yeah what was that 12 points clear um and obviously, if we win, well, in fact, if we beat Hafnerfjörder next time out, the league's pretty much ours because uh, goal difference will be in our favour for favour for the final five games. Um, it'll be really difficult for them to, to catch us. So, yeah, that will actually, if we can win that game, it'll pretty much win us the title. But that is not the focus for today's game. Today's focus is all on the Nordsjælland game. Um, and I think I am just going to pretty much maybe go with the last team that played. Um, can I make that a little bit bigger? Yeah. Um, Argument for putting, in fact, I will put Nygaard in. Um, Schwarz did score last time out, but Nygaard had a really good good cameo um, off the bench in the first leg. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. Bernberg, Kone, Kipre, Ragnarsson, Trifonov, Abinio, Delanga, Schmidt, Nygaard and Alden Marsen. Yeah, I think that's what I want to, I think that's what I want to run with, I think. See, this is the issue we've got. They both want game time. He wants game time. Diara Suba wants game time. Um, yeah, Lerv is still unhappy because he's uh, he's wanting to leave. Um, yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, for now, we focus on this. So this will get us through to the Champions League league phase for the second season in a row, which will be incredible in terms of financial uh, benefits. And obviously, if we can get a win, nice for the coefficients. Um, now, yeah, we, we really should have, on paper, won that game, won that first leg, um, as it was. We drew 5 all <laughs> through, basically, we shoot, shot ourselves in the foot in the first half. Um, so we're going to see if we can uh, remedy that and uh, and deliver the performance that I know we can. Um, I also haven't currently updated the kits. I've updated the kit for, for us uh, through Kit Basher, um, but I'm going to try and do kits for all the other Iceland teams, like, the first time in ages. I've only really touched um, Braitha because they just had a, a sort of, you know, um, FM oh, third kit. It was just... Uh, what? Sorry, what the hell? Okay, that was bizarre. Like, Bernberg just went like, you know what, I can't be bothered getting that. Um, 
yeah, they just had like a, an FM generated third kit. So we made them like a proper one, but I'm going to basically do kits for, for everyone. So once I've done that, I'll uh, just import all the kits. And then we should have a, um, a nice sort of plethora of kits across the whole, the whole of the league. Oh my word, Valdemarsen. Oh, it's a corner. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do that. So next time you uh, you see us, I should have that all updated. Oh, um, if you want to do us a massive favor, everyone, while we're watching this, do us a massive favor. Drop us a drop a like down below. The Langer's picked up an injury and it's pulled from Ligman. So Diarasub is just going to come in because he's more of a like for like. So far, it is all us as well. Comfortable in possession. Creating more chances. Come on, let's try and get a goal before half-time just to uh, settle the nerves down a little bit. Not who I expected to score from the uh, from the corner, but it's Lucas Schmidt with a far post header. Uh, lovely uh, deep delivery from, from Sylvester. And uh, yeah, Schmidt makes no mistakes, and that's his 10th goal for this, of the season. Um, he did really well here. Didn't expect them to get to that, but yeah. And that is just what the doctor ordered. Braitha did play Rakow, Rakow Shostova and they got smashed 5-1 in Poland. So don't really expect much from them. All I can hope for in the second leg is they get a win just to put some coefficient points on the board. But I can't see them overturning that uh, that deficit. They I can't remember if I mentioned it last time or, you know, in a couple of episodes ago, but they are they have gone professional now. And I get deflection and a save uh, of Braitha Blick. So um hopeful that they'll start reaping the rewards of that in the next couple of seasons as they can start getting sort of, you know, professional contracts for their players, like, you know, full-time training. Um, uh, and, you know, hopefully start seeing a bit of an improvement in that regard. And they'll be a bit more of a, a useful team for us going forward into Europe. Um, Nice. Lovely. Not a bad effort, but yeah, not, not brilliant either. I also constantly have the uh, instructions for low crosses and it never comes, it never seems to work. Um, just because most of our players like either quite short aren't always reliably good at heading. So I just want the crosses in low for them just to volley it in. It doesn't, just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> nice. Go wide. Close, close. I wanted it to get wide to drift off them. This is stinking of like a, a really jammy equaliser for Nordschland in like the 65th minute um, with like their second shot of the game. Nice. But no, I think I managed to do the anti jinx, hopefully. The lino didn't flag. So, well, yeah, the lino didn't flag. Trifonov did not look offside. Um, I hopefully anti jinx does, and we've now got it 2 0. Yeah, it's been given. I was like, he didn't look offside at all. I mean, we're not going to see it from there, but he didn't look offside. And we're probably not going to see it on the replay either with a tight offside. No, they're not going to give us a tight offside replay. That's fine. 2 0. Beautiful. And Sylvester is having a fantastic game, an assist and a goal, more than justifying his, his inclusion into the, the team today. Um, yeah, just what we wanted from him, um, with us throwing him in. Can you start that again? Thank you. Nice. 
Lovely. Oh, yes, the post. That, that, that went over the line. Not definitely went over the line. Really annoying time for, why is it lagging? Why is it going laggy? Uh, but yeah, really frustrating time for it to lag then, because that looked a very spicy chance. Off the post, bounced back off their player. Keeper dropped it, definitely went over the line. Driffin' off. And now it is 3-0. And that's another goal for Sylvester. And that's the game, that's the tie. Perfect, job done. Job done. Right, start looking at who I'm going to rest for the game against uh, Hafnerfjörder. Um, which will hopefully get us the title. Uh, um, if I've got Lucky on the bench, I'll bring him on for Ragnarsson. Ragnarsson. Trying to just bleed this guy into the team a little bit more now. 19-year-old South African. We'll bring on Lindstrom, I think, for Trifonov. And we'll leave it at that for now. We've got one more sub break left. Nice, get away. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I would leave Valdemar on just to let him get his game, game time, get his minutes in. All day. That's fine. That's fine. We'll take that. <laughs> right, Bernberg will come off for Macaulay. And this is our last sub stoppage, isn't it? Ma, too gone. Sound. See it out now, boys. See it out. Get another goal, it'd be nice, but I'm not going to worry too much if we don't. Decent little work move. Decent little work move. Oh, what a boss. Ah, oh, go on. But, uh, I respect the balls to try for the lob. But uh, he should have put his laces through it. Oh, nearly. That was nearly a lovely little pass through. Win that. We win that. We win that. Nice. Lovely. Go on, one more. Nice. Ah, oh, there's see. That's what happens when you do your low crosses. We've had two low crosses actually today, haven't we? which have led to goals. So maybe they are starting to learn. Because with both of Sylvester's low crosses, then they might have been. Come on, wake up. Could have easily been avoided that. <laughs> I think... Players are just getting a bit tired and not pushing out as much. So we'll go balanced and we will just completely and utterly strangle the game. I'll leave that as it is, maybe drop that. <laughs> I 
just keep it easy now. Nice. Nice. Get that. Play it. Oh, go on. Oh, a nearly, nearly a lovely counter-attacking goal. And it would have been Sylvester's hat-trick as well. So close. Nice from Lindstrom, he did well, and seeing the cross from Martuk was so rubbish. What is that? Hmm, I do like him because he's model citizen, but he's definitely um, been left behind by a lot of our more technical midfielders as, uh, as Martuk. I also like the fact that he's Lebanese. I just think, you know, I love the I love having this slightly less lesser seen nationalities, but. Yeah, I'm mainly keeping him around for his model citizen, to be honest with you. We'll take that, Sylvester. We'll take that. Good carrying of the ball. Oh, lovely. Come on, Peo. Oh, Alder Marson's shot has tipped onto the underside of the bar. Tell you what, considering he's conceded three goals, their keeper's made some really good saves. see who we're going to get in the uh, in the league phase and then we'll just see what Braitha can contribute Yay. beautiful beautiful I mean I feel like I feel like some of these games could have been a lot worse don't get me wrong we've still got United we've still got City and we've still got Arsenal obviously City and United we had last year Freiburg, maybe. Hibs, I'm happy with. Galatasaray, who knows? We pushed Fenerbahce far before. Leon and Valencia, I'll be honest with you, I haven't really got a clue. I haven't got a read on them at all. Hmm, who knows? You know what? As long as we can, if we can get a win on the board after last season when we just got the three draws, I'll be happy. But it's all about, like, the money. Look at that, 12.69 mil, just straight off. So, ugh, let's see what we can do. Meanwhile, Braitha managed to get us a couple of points. They drew two all. At home to Shestofa. They nearly got the win as well, to be fair. And they actually gave a really good account of themselves, I would say. Um in in this in this second leg. But uh yeah, really disappointing. But you know what? They've they've had quite a decent run. Obviously, last season they did get to the um the Conference League League phase. So, you know, they hopefully have got something they can build on. Um they're currently already on course to have a very, very good season. Um, you know, we're starting to move away from these two and a half, three and a halves. You know, consistently now, 4.2, 6.2, 6.8, 4.75. Obviously, we're only going to get more points, hopefully, if we can pick up a few uh, a few points along the way in the, the Champions League. Um, but, you know, we are on course to finish a little bit higher up. And obviously, if we can replace the 3.5 season with another sort of 4.755 or whatever next season, then that's even better. Just slowly start climbing our way up. So, I mean, the next game will probably be one of these Champions League games. Um, I'm not sure which one. Probably won't bother doing the Galatasaray one just yet. Um, I might well bring it back for Hibs or something. Just something where I feel like maybe we can give a good little account of ourselves. It might be quite nice to see. Um, otherwise, obviously, we've already seen United. Might well bring it back for, you know, the sort of the second lot of games. Maybe like City and Arsenal. So, might do it that way instead. Um, hope that's okay with everyone. But, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to go and win the league and hopefully win the cup as well. So, I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye for now.
take care and thank you for watching